Hi, this is Gabe, and I'm a customer success manager. Today, I thought I'd share with you a couple of my tools and tricks for helping with customers, and making sure they're fans of our products. Number one, successful onboarding starts with your sales process. You want to make sure that you set the right expectations from your sales team to your customer success or implementation team. A lot of times friction can happen here. So the first thing you want to do when meeting with customers as you're starting your implementation process is have detailed questions and let them give you lots of comments on what they expect is also you setting expectations on what's going to happen with your product. After implementation and successful onboarding, it's very important to gain knowledge on your customers and how they felt about the both the onboarding process and your product. I'm a big proponent of lots of feedback. I like to ask my customers for feedback, both through surveys, emails, and on the phone whenever I talk to them or in person. Uh, never be scared of feedback. It's always going to be how, what's going to make you better as a customer success manager. Now, I do like to use some tools to watch what my customers are doing whenever possible. There are lots of customer success platforms that will help you see uh, seed activity, health, uh, NPS scoring, as well as actual click-through activity on your customers. I like to utilize these whenever possible to see how my customers are actually doing in the products that I'm representing. And then there's the, the unfortunate uh, factor of churn that can happen with your customers. I thought I'd touch on this briefly today because churn is a big thing that can affect you as a cu customer success manager in how much you like your role sometimes, your compensation, as well as how your company's doing. Uh, a lot of the factors that affect churn can be what I already suggested. So the successful onboarding and implementation, uh, customer feedback, as well as a combination of seed activity, NPS score, and health. Best way to do this is to track the customers however you can. Use tools that you that you have available to you from your company. Uh, build out tools. There's a lot of free suites. And one of the biggest things, as you can see on my video today, is I love using video to con connect with my customers. Some of my favorite tools that I use are YouTube. Um, I use a lot of free products. I use OBS Studio. Uh, a lot of the time, it's an open source platform. That's what I'm recording this on today. I'll put things on YouTube. I'm also a big fan of Soapbox, one of the uh, Wixdia products, as well as uh, some of the TechSmith products. So whenever you can use video, both in your online go-to meetings with customers, in help tutorials for customers, and even direct feedback, uh, video, I think, is the most powerful tool we have today in connecting with our customers in a age of ever-increasing technology and speed. You want to have as much personal communication through uh, video, phone, and if you have to email with customers as much as possible and build those relationships to make your customers and you as successful as possible. This has been Gabe. Hope uh, you watch this and I look forward to producing more videos on customer success. Let me know what you think. Thanks.